With one word, two opponents will take swords to each other. As the duel starts, the fencers try to strike their challenger with their weapon. In the foil style of fencing, points may only be awarded when the tip of the blade hits the torso. The epe style, on the other hand, records points when the tip strikes any part of the body. The physical aspect is only half the battle, as a quick mind is also needed. It's very important to stay on your guard or to very calm, focusing on what your opponent is doing, to figure out what your opponent is doing, and then be able to figure out a way to come out of it. Gregory Mitberg is from Beaverton, Oregon, and has been fencing for nine years. Before learning of the MSUM tournament, he was visiting his grandparents in Fergus Falls, Minnesota. The trip to Moorhead, though, was one that would come more unexpectedly. I, I woke up at 6 this morning and drove for an hour and a half. Is that what you thought you'd be doing whenever you came to see your grandparents? <laughs> no, it was not. President of the MSUM Fencing Club, Trevor Roloff, says fencers like Gregory come from all around to the campus-hosted tournaments. The competitions and practices bring the participants closer together. Um, you meet a lot of community members. I mean, you just slowly expand the number of people you know through it. It's, it's great. So. Bonding between those who share a passion for fencing is just one of the reasons why these college students would not choose to do anything else with their Saturday mornings. With photographer Kenny Buck, Colin Boyles, Campus News Sports.